Yeah, I actually haven't eaten them yet. I uh, have them still in my fridge. But I've had them before, and they really are quite good. You should try them if you ever get to see uh, French pastries. Just, uh, just get some. The ones I have are really uh, quite good. This is stupid. Why does this miss? I don't like this. And I shouldn't have even needed to use laser, but whatever. If you rewind the video, you might actually notice that. Maybe try that. I don't really have to see the Roya Bongo bangle, but I would kind of like to get it. Oh well, never mind. It seems that was not possible. I mean, not having stolen this isn't such an issue, you can actually count the enemy later as when random enemy, so I don't really care too much about this item. However, I want to steal all of their stuff. This is, um, this is... Necessary. I will not win this fight if I don't. I will not continue this fight if I don't steal all this stuff. They just have two useful items, so um, I will only go on if I steal their stuff. All their stuff. Oh wow, that's neat. I like this.
it's actually still one battle after this. So, um, I have to actually not only get, kill them, but also kill the enemy afterwards. Even though it's not really an issue, because the issue, um, the enemy afterwards is very weak. Still, it's not that, you know, I have to also still stop the train in time. I don't like this. You're getting too many turns, and I'm like you. Well, it's not... Is it even hot and sunny? Well, I guess it is. I don't like this weather. It's too hot and too sunny and too summery and everything. But I'm good. How are you? It's actually really annoying how many turns they get. Dude, you have to uh, stop this. disabled fan? You mean like one that you use like a manual one for your hand? Or like a uh, an electric one? I mean I'm pretty sure you mean an electric one, but what do I know? I think I'm not in time anymore, I'm wasting too much time. Unless this thing dies really, really fast. Well, this could still work, I'm not entirely sure though. Actually, this probably will still work, never mind. This was probably the closest I've ever done this in. I mean, I'd still had like 20 seconds left, but I never really had it this close. Hey, Justy, how are you?
You know, unfortunately I couldn't steal the uh, the warrior bangle from the eagle gun. So that's a bit unfortunate. But as I said, it's not it's not missable because you can actually still get it from the eagle gun that you can fight as a random enemy um, later in the game. So I can still get the item. I just kind of like missing stuff for now. I don't like that. But whatever. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't really that close, but I mean, I didn't really know it would still be rather close. As I said, it's probably the closest I've ever had it. I mean, normally I finish with like 5 minutes or something left. Because in the original game, it's not even difficult to finish in time. There's really more than enough time. Anyway, now there's the amazing Cloud Media livestream sequence. Oh yeah, and I got Ultima. I also used an um, I also used a Mega Elixir. I didn't really want to do that. I mean, I still have four, but I don't know. I prefer to not use my stuff yet. or something. Anyway, we'll be back in a couple of minutes. I will get some food.
hey, yeah, uh, again, um, yeah, this mod doesn't have any kind of necrosis stuff, like, you can heal and, you know, that's what necrosis is about, or well, true necrosis is about. Also, um, in this house, there's another, um, like, another one of these ethical dilemma questions, as with the curse ring, you know, you can pick this item up, um, And if you try to leave now, he is gonna ask you if you took it or not. Wait a minute. Did you just take something? So if you say um, you didn't take it, he tells you that it expired or something, you don't get it. But if you say, uh, yeah, I took it, old man, just die, and why not just immediately? And if you ta if you say the, the truth, you can just keep it. That's not how it works in real life. In real life, he would sue you for theft, and you'd probably end up in jail. But in FF7, you get stuff for free. How cute. Yeah, normally he uses break 3, in this mod though it's break, a stronger version of an earth element attack essentially. Oh yeah, I might also um, really want to get some uh, some stuff up, like barrier I guess, wall, that might help. He actually survived that, I'm kind of impressed. Oh, and I could see another curse ring, um, but, well... Do I want another curse ring, though? Um, it's not really that useful, to be honest. To have more than one. Ring dilemma. There isn't really a curse ring dilemma. <laughs> I mean, that's true, but I already have a curse ring. Why would I get a second one? I mean, it, it actually, well, actually, uh, maybe uh, you're right. I should try at least to steal it. I mean, if I don't even try, that is really weak, I agree. I should try at least. It sells for one kill, by the way. That's not really a good idea to get it to steal it because it sells for literally one kill. So you know that wouldn't probably be the best way to make money. No, I said that in the house with the elixir guy, that is the same dilemma as with the curse ring because you have to like, you know, ask a question and if you answer truthfully you get stuff and if you lie you don't get stuff. That's the analogy, um, you know, to the curse ring, which you also get a medial and you have to answer a question truthfully. There's no other dilemma in this, uh, in this curse ring scenario history holiday, whatever. So I'm gonna try at least to steal the curse ring now. Um.
this actually makes you immune to earth, that's good. Um, wow, this is actually quite as useful. So his first attack is going to be nullified, because everybody will be immune to earth. I like that. Well, I could actually show you the others, the other elixir outcome in that case, now that I will make a save. I mean, it's not really exciting, but it's probably worth seeing. So if you look at my elixir counts, um, it's currently 13. Now if you pick it up and say you didn't take it... No, I know nothing about it! Exclamation mark! I don't know nothing about that! And you hear the spooky uh, death sentence sound effects. This is so spooky I can't sleep anymore. I still got it though? Wow. Like, did it even make a difference if I took it or not? So apparently it doesn't even make a difference if you take it or if you say the truth or not. I don't know. <laughs> it seems like it doesn't even matter if you say the truth or not in this case. Wow. That is disappointing. This is why I like puns, not so much. They are not funny, even though you might believe so. Well, I learned something from it, so I mean it was a wholesome uh, experience for me as well. Wow, I got the curse ring so fast. I like that. was neat. Unfortunately though, now comes the very much lacking in the neat compartment parts. Um, the entire livestream sequence, which takes about 20 minutes. Actually, it's a bit less than that, but I still don't um, enjoy it too much. Oh, hey, fine lines. You know, I read your message on, uh, on Discord about the uh, Happy Hippo snack. Did you um, try it because I told about? Because I talked to you 
because I told you about it. Or had you already tried it and passed? Um, I wonder uh, how the experience was. Did you just buy them because I, uh, I spoke of them to uh, test if they really, if they really are happy or not so happy? And as I said in the UK, apparently you can actually buy two types of Happy Hippo snacks. You have like one with um, vanilla filling and one with chocolate filling. For some reason here in Germany, they only sell the ones with chocolate filling. Which is really uh, disappointing. I see. That's an interesting dream, but a rather mundane one. Do you know what I dreamt last night? It's kind of spooky though. Yeah, I mean, that's true. I mean, you can probably only eat so many of anything until you feel sick. Hey, lovers. Well, in the game, in the original game, you can only get them in... You can definitely only get them from the train section, because you can only counter the enemy there, and it's the only way to, to get them. You can only see them from the, from the eagle gun. However, in this mod, you can encounter the eagle gun enemy later, just before Hojo on the sister way. So you can encounter the enemy eagle gun more than once, which means you can also um, get the barrier bangle more than once. But that's only true for this mod. Well, if you know my dream, then why don't you tell me what I dreamt last night? I, uh, I wonder how close you are. I don't really dream these kind of things. You know, the Shamanda plushie, even though it seems to be still a very enjoyable topic for discussion, it doesn't really affect my life anymore. I never actually had a dream about it. Maybe I'm just that ice cold that I am not affected by the crimes I commit, including Shamanda plushies. So I'm still waiting for Punk's um, detailed summary of my uh, dream from last night. <laughs> wow, 
Well, it doesn't seem to affect my life. Well, I'm sure it affects my life less than the person who uh, was gifted it. Well, I'm I'm very careful though. Before I go to the bathroom, I always use the flush in case there's any plushies still in there that might want to haunt me. I dreamt there were in a house. Wow, you truly seem psychic. What else is there to my dream? You know, there's a spe there's a specific element to it that is very strong and characteristic of the dream that I find very uh, central to my dream. Can you tell what that is? People tried to eat me. How did they try to eat me? You know, strangely enough, that's not really that far away from what I dreamt. I mean, it's not what I dreamt, but surprisingly enough, it's not. It's not really that close. It's not really that that uh, far away from what I dreamt. I actually dreamt that people uh, that I was at somebody's house. And the person uh, fed me tomatoes until I died, or at least until I was supposed to die. Somebody tried to kill me by giving me tomatoes, and uh, it was rather spooky. Though I don't think they tried to eat me. makes you think I'm skinny. I don't know if I would agree with that. Also, um, eating tomatoes, is that really gonna fatten you up any bit? Do you know what tomatoes contain mostly? <laughs> it's more or less water only. I mean, if you want to gain weight, you probably shouldn't follow a diet that consists mainly of tomatoes. That might be impossible indeed. Maybe try, I don't know. Try bacon or something. Well, in the dream I ate, I ate tomatoes by myself, by themselves, just tomatoes. But, I mean, I don't normally eat tomatoes by themselves. I kind of like tomatoes, but I usually eat them with other vegetables in what I like to call a salad. don't like tomatoes. I mean, I hear a lot of people, well not a lot of people, but I know some other people don't like tomatoes. I mean, you can really not like anything. <laughs> but I can't really relate to not liking tomatoes, because I really like them. What about the music that they don't like, just the taste? I thought they were spicy, I mean, have you ever ate, have you ever eaten a tomato? I mean, they only look wet. Do you think everything that's wet is spicy?
Yeah, I mean, it's the same for a lot of vegetables, actually. I mean, technically, apparently, tomatoes are not even vegetable. They are fruits, which to me is just bizarre. Thank you very much, Battles. Good to hear. Thank you. Um, yes, this mod is quite uh, fun. I mean, it's not that I haven't played it before, so I already know what the mod is like mostly. But I haven't played it in a while, so it's nice to come back to it. And it's still quite fun. Um, the next boss in the story is um, Kariyama, but I could also fight some of the optional bosses, like in the Materia Caves, and I might actually do that. Hey Pete, I'm good, how are you? I'm still enjoying this, yes. Didn't you intend to uh, draw some pictures of um, the deer I saw? You know, this morning I was actually in the uh, in the wilderness again. I was riding a bicycle, and I saw like a lot of different animals. I uh, I encountered like probably a dozen deer, um, several rabbits, several cows. One squirrel and what appeared to be a bat. Maybe you can turn this into some kind of new painting.
I mean, I haven't really ever seen a bat before, so I'm not really sure it was a bat. They don't really seem to live here. I mean, all I know about bats is that they can give you web eyes, uh, wabies, um, if they, uh, if they bite you. So, um, you probably shouldn't really try to get too close to bats. Well, I don't know why it would bite you. I guess it wouldn't really do that, but... I read an article in the newspaper once. Maybe it was, like, somewhere else, but... Somebody died from being bitten by a bat. <laughs> you know, I, uh... Ever since then, I'm, I'm kind of scared of bats, even though I never had seen one until just right now, it seems. Oh really? You know, here in Germany I haven't seen a bat. I mean, maybe I've seen a bat when I was a child, but I can't really remember that. Oh yeah, I think I want to try and beat the uh, boss uh, in the Material Cave. But I think I need to do some more grinding room until I can actually do that. Oh, this is very nice. I also have the mistile actually, that's even better in theory. <clears throat> I 
I truly know nothing. Such arcane arts. Hmm. What do I actually want to level up here anyway? You seem to know too much about subcultures, you don't really seem to be a part of punk. It's kind of strange how in this mod, steel requires only 11.6k uh, AP to level up to muck. Normally it's 40 something k um, AP. Also, why, does, why is it 11.6? That's a very random number. So why hasn't this leveled up to resist yet? Duh, it sucks. Do you mean big as in like tall or big as in fat? You know, in the English language, the word big is kind of ambiguous. I'm not always sure if people, when they say big, if they mean like big as in tall or big as in fat. Big can also mean muscular. I didn't really know that. So essentially, big can mean anything these days. So I'm gonna level up a couple of levels, um, and then I'm gonna try and fight one of the material cave bosses. You know, speaking of, d of big, in uh, in German, of course, um, <laughs> if you mean like big as in fat, you would probably use a word like dick, which is actually, a, a, as I said, it's a yeah, it's an actual word in German. Um, like the German word for for fat, or more like thick, is um, is in German. It's called dick, <laughs> which is a bit hilarious. Sadness makes you take less damage, exactly. Actually, it's spelled D-I-C-K. So it's even more interesting.
Yeah, I mean, as I, I mentioned earlier, there's this, um, there's this street called Dickman, which is like a, uh, a wafer with like a shock with a chocolate, um, cover, and inside it's like a foam filling. It's... <laughs> I mean, it's very in innocuous in the German language, but if you're like an English speaker and you're coming to Germany, you might be confused why they're selling Dickmans. Yeah, it's it's like a wave on the top, on the bottom, and there's a foam filling. Not nougat, I mean foam. Like, white foam. You shouldn't, you can google it and see what I mean. It's... there's no nougat in it, it's um, like, on the, on the bottom there's a, there's a wafer, and then there's a, a foam. And it's covered in different types of chocolates. They actually have um, like dark chocolate and also white chocolate or like medium dark chocolates. But they taste all rather bland to me, I must say. And I mean, they're usually just eaten by children. I wouldn't really comment them. Well, I mean, there's edible foam, you know. Maybe you should call it cream. It's like a white cream in the dick, man. Like, it's kind of funny how um, in English this all seems just. <laughs> it sounds all very uh, inappropriate to say that there's there's like a cream in the dick, man. And if you take a bite, it can come, uh, you know. I don't know. You can probably make some kind of uh, interesting story out of that. For the sake of this uh, <laughs> discussion, it's uh, it's supposed to be creamy. Well, as I said earlier, I don't like thick mints. They taste rather bland. Um, but maybe you like them. Maybe you have to just try them, see if you like them. But I did, and I don't know. I couldn't really enjoy them. They don't sell mass bars. Don't they sell mass like anywhere in the world? Why don't they sell mass bars where you live? Do you live in, I don't know, North Korea? You know, I haven't actually had any kind of uh, chocolate bar in a long, long time. Oh, actually, never mind. I had a bounty like some weeks ago. They don't sell mass in Texas. That sounds really crazy. I mean, mass seems like the staple of of the chocolate bars.
So what do they sell if they don't sell masks where you live? Oh, so where do you buy them? Like, I'm pretty sure that in most grocery stores, you will find like all kinds of different chocolate bars. Why would they not have masks? That seems strange to me. You know what's even stranger? Um, I don't know when it started, but I saw it like a couple of weeks ago. They actually sell edible and not edible. They sell um, drinkable uh, chocolate bars now. They sell like some kind of plastic bottle that apparently you can drink and is supposed to taste of like Mars or Milky Way or Bouncy or Tricks or Snickers or even M&Ms I think. I don't know when they started doing that, but to me that seems pretty crazy. Oh really? What does it even taste like? I mean, how can a drink taste of a chocolate bar? It seems really just bizarre to me. <laughs> well, I mean, you can actually nowadays live off just a soylent diet. I mean, people apparently do that. People just live on nothing but soylents. I mean, it's, it saves your time. You don't have to actually cook anything. You just drink like three of those drinks a day. Um, <laughs> I have no idea what they even taste like, but I don't. I'm not really interested in doing that either. I don't. I don't really see the point in doing that. Well, Soylent is a um, soy-based um, product that you can drink that is supposed to be like your entire meal. It's just like a milkshake, like Slim Fast kind of, if you have heard of that. Apparently that's like a uh, like some kind of drink and it's supposed to be a, uh, a balanced meal. It has like, you know, different vitamins and proteins and it's supposed to be a really well-balanced ba meal, but I'm not sure how well it actually is balanced. Yeah, actually when I was a child, I, uh, I saw Slim Fast in grocery stores. I haven't seen it nowadays, but when I grew up, I, I saw it quite a bit. Yeah, I mean, if you if you take like, I don't know, if you if you if you uh, burn a lot of energy, why would you want to uh, replenish on some kind of chocolate bar? I mean, I would rather do it the other way around. Like, you might want to have one before you work out. It doesn't make any sense to do it the other way around. Yeah, I'm just grinding up some material exactly. I mean, I don't plan of of living of Soylent, or let alone trying Soylent, so I really couldn't care less. I'm just really, I'm quite surprised people actually do that. I mean, what is the appeal of Soylent anyway?
you know, I, I realize though, unfortunately, if you just keep on eating stuff, um, if you're not really hungry, it doesn't really taste as good. Somehow, uh, if you're hungry, like, anything tastes good. You can try it out. Like, you know, even bad food will taste good. Even some expired old burnt dog food will eventually be really nice. Well, at least it's fluid, so you probably won't notice so much of the people that you're drinking. I mean, if I had to consume people, I'd probably rather drink than eat them. Seems less, uh, I don't know, <laughs> less noticeable. Yeah, I mean, I feel that you can make something that is fluid taste of very, uh, of all kinds of things. Whereas, actual food that you have to chew is probably harder to, uh, to change its taste. Thank you, Fine Lines, and uh, good luck on that. Well, I, s I think I'm still gonna be here for like some hours. It's actually uh, annoying to leave the house anyway, because apparently outside it's some kind of heat wave and, you know, for European standards it's not really that's, I mean for American standards it's probably not that hot, but um, it's like 30, um, 
something degrees in Celsius, like 35, I think. About that. Which, you know, isn't really that hot globally, but for European standards, or like at least Germany, that is <laughs> just a truly peak heat with heat wave, and people can't really cope with that. Well, I mean, I wouldn't say it's it's not very warm, but from what I hear in like some of the places, like in the US, um, <laughs> you get much hotter um, places. So it, it gets it gets it gets much warmer in other places, but I mean, it doesn't normally get this warm here, so people aren't really used to it. I mean, 95 doesn't really seem to be that warm for, I don't know, Texas, Arizona, New Mexico, um, Florida. But for Germany, it's it doesn't ever really get that hot. It, like, normally in the summer when it gets hot, it gets like 90 maybe. Um, Ninety to ninety-five doesn't seem like that big of a jump. Well, I mean, maybe eighty-five. Oh, well, but still, a big jump. <laughs> How humid is it? I have no idea. I mean, I don't actually have a fancy humid meter, so I would have to guess. I guess. I think they're called the humidometer. Oh, oh, I see. I mean, I've been outside today, but I have a very hard time guessing um, how humid it is. I don't really notice these things. But I saw uh, mostly people wearing what I perceive to be uh, pajamas. I mean, when it gets hot, when it gets hot, people just—I don't know—they don't really seem to have any kind of clothing that's that they can wear, so they just seem to wear like shorts and bathing attire and night attire. It's kind of weird. Like nightgowns? <laughs> Not so much nightgowns, more like, um, like, uh, well, probably nightgowns, but more like pajamas. Well, at least it looks like that, but, I mean, I don't think they, they literally wore pajamas, but it kind of looks like that. It's also extremely sunny, I mean, I don't like that. That's probably the worst part. I mean, I don't really mind heat or uh, humidity, but it's sunshine I can't stand. I don't even know what name I chose. I forgot about that, dudes. Oh, never mind. You know, um, if you if you um, make up weird names like every single playthrough, it's kind of hard to keep track of your names. Yeah. Why would you hate snow? Snow is fun. How often do you get snow in your area? Um, not really every winter, but. Like, I mean, where I live, I mean, it depends really on, like, the um, altitude where you live. I mean, it, like, in Italy, I guess, or, like, you know, Switzerland, or, well, Norway, or whatever, you can get snow uh, quite a bit, but where I live, um, you don't even get snow every year, but usually you get some snow every year. It's not very much, though. Yeah, like, 
I don't know, maybe like several inches or centimeters. I mean, maybe like at most five or so on average. I mean, it's, it barely covers the ground. I mean, it, it barely covers the ground, and usually, I mean, also melts away very fast. It's kind of, it's kind of pointless. In Maryland, we get a decent amount of snow. Sometimes we get, usually it's a couple of inches, but sometimes it's a couple of feet. Oh, and I then see. In the summer, we get like up to 100 degrees. <laughs> we, get, we get quite the variance. Here. I mean, the weather is actually kind of mild, I guess. It's what you would describe it as. Here. Um, Yeah, I mean, I guess the issue with snow is that if you have to, you know, plow your street or whatever, or you have to go somewhere, I mean, if, if there's snow outside, your car might just explode or not work. Or, you know, it's just more, issue, it's more bothersome to get somewhere if there's snow outside. But I still feel that snow just looks very nice. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. Snow is very snow nice. Snow is like makeup for the ground. Because of all the and it's nice flat. Yeah. Mm. It's just very lovely to look at snow um, when you're not outside but inside. I kind of feel the same about winter and. Um, I mean, it's kind of nice to look at winter when you're not actually outside. Or also when it's like hailing or it's there's some kind of thunderstorm. Do you prefer um, winter thunderstorms or summer thunderstorms? I mean, they don't really happen very often either way here. Uh, I don't even recall like if I've ever seen actual winter thunderstorm. I mean, they, they happen probably more, more often in the summer, but I don't know. They're, very, they're not very common here either way. But, I mean, I guess they're probably best in like spring or autumn when they are not that strong. I mean, in summer they, they, they're probably much stronger than the winter because they contain more water and also they're probably more prone to, uh, to lead to hail or I don't know. I mean, it seems that in, in summer, winter, and summer um, thunderstorms just basically cause more damage. Which is probably not so good. Oh, Odin missed. Yeah, I mean, I looked it up actually earlier, and apparently it, um, Odin has 91% 90, chance to one hit KO a, a target per target, so um, if if he misses, that's that's probably not that unlikely. But what's really bizarre is that he missed in uh, in a battle against four enemies on every single one of them, and I had to use Gunch Lance. So that's I don't know. That's very unlikely, actually. That shouldn't happen. So why does Cloud die so much? I don't like that. I think they can inflict instant death with the Hedgehog rarely. Because I don't think they they dealt enough damage to kill him. Is that in a uh, normal? Is that is that in the base game or is that something they added in? Uh... No, I'm pretty sure they... I'm not actually sure that could have been added. I mean, I haven't fought the enemies here in the original game in ages. Maybe he just increased the chance of it actually inflicting death. But that might have been in the original game already, I'm not, not entirely sure. You got your submission ready for SGDQ's 2017? <laughs> well, isn't it uh, submission for HGQ's 2017 first? What did I say? SGDQ? Yeah, yeah you said SGDQ. I'm, I'm gonna say Yeah. Oh well, he 
he missed again. Why is Jeffy poison? Ah, uh, because he doesn't have a weapon and the enemy attacked her. I only have two weapons at this point, so somebody has to suffer. This mod make poison like the opposite region, where it doesn't take. No, actually, she has poison and dual, which is inverse region. Oh. Yeah. This mod is very, uh, very kind with giving basically any enemy the ability to inflict inverse region, aka dual. I mean, in the original game. Basically, only um, bottom as well can inflict that when he casts water pull on you and you're like in this water bubble. That's when you notice it. But in mods, people love dual. Like, every modder has dual all over the place. <laughs> I like how she died in the, in the, in the victory cutscene. Yeah, animation. it's kind of glitchy. Pairing MP absorb with HP absorb do anything? No, I'm just having it there to, you know, level them up. Okay, just check one. Can you pair HP absorb with fire and then in a different spot pair MP absorb with fire? Yes, and you then can, you then you absorb like both. And MP absorb? Yes. You can actually um, have several of those. You can have like HP absorb fire, MP absorb fire, and also MP turbo fire. I mean, even like quite a magic fire, so you would then have like all of the the uh, four um, links to fire. So you would absorb MP and MP, HP and MP. And then you would also have a stronger move in the fire, and you would also cast it four times. Is that worth it? Well, for some spells, it might be in some scenarios. But usually, it's. I mean, there might be like some bosses that. You know, in like some challenges that it's worth it for, but I mean, if you play the game casually, <laughs> wow. He missed on one, he only hit one out of four, that's just garbage. In fact, I'm not even sure if I can kill him now because I'm too weak. Did you use W items which on like some of those really high level items that go damage? Sorry, I didn't hear that. W item glitch on those items that you can use to deal a ton of damage to the enemy. Ah, you can do that. Have we done that though? Hmm. I mean, that's not really, uh, that's not really too helpful, I think. So anyway, um, when once I'm done with the grinding, I want to fight this boss in the uh, the mature cave that is close to here. Um, yeah, I think it's it's quite a magic that's in that cave normally, but in this mod, there's also magic counter and command counter in that cave. Oh, so you get m three things from it? Yes, actually, in all the caves, you get more than just what is in there normally. In uh, in the Cotter Cave, you also get shields. In um, HBMP, you also get, I think, W Magic. I'm not sure exactly what you get there, but you get something else. And in Mime, you also get, I don't know what you get there, dudes. But you get um, you get more than just what is in there normally. You get basically material that is not in the normal cave, so you can get it supposedly earlier. But because you have to beat the boss to uh, get the material. Uh, you, have, you probably can't even make use of it because you have to first be able to beat the boss to get the material, so it's it's a bit strange. I mean, all those bosses are, are kind of like um, super bosses, so uh, you can't just get it because you have to actually beat the boss first to get that material. Hey. Similar to the difficulty of bosses in New Threat mod at the Material Caves? Yeah, they are much harder than those. Oh, like, really? wow. new, th new Threat mod doesn't really compare to this mod. 
this is more of a brutal version. Um, I mean, you still need strategy, but this is definitely much harder than new threat mods. Hey, Callisto. Well, you did uh, end up having to go to the developer room to beat new threat, right? I don't quite really recall that. I mean, what? <laughs> Thing you forgot about that terrible infraction of your viewers' trust. Hmm, maybe. I mean, in my mind, things always go smoothly. Maybe you just remember it incorrectly. It I mean, when saves your bot past 30 days, right? <laughs> when did I last play that mod anyway? It must have been like I don't know, half a year ago. Well, probably more like a year ago. I think it was around the beginning of 2016. No, it was that like could December be. December to January. Are you sure that could be? Hey, White Wolf. But yeah, I'm good. How are you? I don't recall any of what you're saying about the uh, Devil Groom. Did you upload your videos to YouTube? No, I haven't actually done that yet. I want to do that uh, probably tomorrow. You know, you have to. Uh, it's kind of. It's always a bit bothersome because you have to, you know, you have to like make it a thumbnail and then also like add tags. I mean, you don't, you don't really have to do that, but. When I upload stuff to YouTube, I always want it to be to look somewhat neat, so it takes some time to just, you know, write descriptions and add tags and a thumbnail and, you know. But I will upload them probably tomorrow at least, you know. I mean, I won't upload them all at the same time, but I will uh, work on doing that tomorrow. So I think I want to master the uh, remaining edge plus material. Before I leave. You know, I've actually um, already tried um, the boss in that interior cave off stream and so I kind of already know what to do. I mean enemies have more HP but that's not all they have. They also have higher stats so they do more damage and they will take less damage. They also have new attacks and sometimes also new AI, and there's even new enemies, but yeah, the um, the XP, AP, and guild ratio and, you know, what they yield is not better than what they used to give you. You know, in fact, um, in some cases it has been nerfed, so they give you less than they used to. It's kinda silly. True poverty mod. Sorry, I couldn't hear that. The true poverty mod. <laughs> yeah, I mean in this mod, um, you know, in the original game, Goto gives you 30,000 gil. But in this mod he gives you zero gil. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's just really outrageous. Even Sagatrip didn't dare to do that. He gave, I think, Godo. He dropped some gil, but not zero. Like in this mod. 3,000 isn't even that much. I mean, he, I mean, 30,000, I said. He, uh, oh. Yeah. yeah. Oh. So, I mean, it's, it's probably the most. Not the. I think Nova Synthesis gives more, but. Um, like, one of the most gil in the game. And in this mod, it's, it's literally nothing. It's, it's just stupid. 
Oh, I think the weapons also give you more. They give you, I think, 50,000 gil. But anyway, um, 30,000 gil for Godor is, is like, basically free money. Did the hardcore mod also lower the money you get from weapons in Java and stuff? No, I don't think so. Yeah, you can still heal on the higher rings. They didn't move that. Whoa, I kind of just saw your Snapchat of your French pastries. Oh, you did? Those look delicious. <laughs> they are delicious. Did you eat them all? No, I haven't eaten any of them yet. They are still in my fridge. I, uh... I like to keep stuff so I can enjoy it later. Do you want to know what they're called? Or, like, do you know what yes. they are? Uh, Snapchat went away, it was only 10 seconds. I didn't. No, I don't know, I don't know. Tell me. Well, uh. There's this, um. I mean, the, the most basic, or most probably uh, usual part is just there's, uh, there's some cheesecake with, uh, with wasp berries. That's, like, at the very bottom. I think you can. I think, um. Like, on oh, Snapchat. Wait. You're saying raspberries? Yes. Oh my god, up until now I thought that was some kind of strange European berry that I've never heard of. <laughs> no, I mean, I mean wasberries. Do you call them raspberries? Okay. Yeah, we, I call them raspberries. Okay, also um, on Snapchat, you know, there's this part called stories where you can like... Um, you can like watch some snaps like infinitely many times in a day or so. Oh really? Yeah, you can do that. So I think you can rewatch my meaningful uh, French pastry snap if you want to. It's not in the chat though, you have to like go to like... There's like another button you press and then you can find it. Anyway, um... Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Maybe you can find it. Yeah, I just talked about that, right? You should... I mean, the other day actually I updated my, my Twitch bio page with uh, some really important features like my contribution to the food porn industry that uh, will probably be of great value to your life. Ooh, nice sunset. Yeah. Um, anyway. <laughs> why does... why would one uh, even... I don't know. I don't think that's what Snapchat is used for. I don't even understand the concept of, of like taking a uh, pics of yourself. Like I don't know. Isn't that just a photo? Of, I mean, if you're like if you're like a famous personality, and you um, like, why would you take nudes of yourself? It seems like they always get hacked and they just end up somewhere on the internet. I don't understand the concept of doing that. I don't know. What is the profit of that? Just take um, I don't know. <laughs> I never understood that. How come Jeffy's always the one that gets dueled on? Because he doesn't have the weapon, um, that's why. The other people I have the uh, weapon, so they need to dance. Where do you get the third ribbon? Um, there's really not a... Well, I mean, the first one is in Temple of the Ancient, the second one is in Gaia's Cliff. You can get a third one by morphing some enemies, like, in the original game it's, um, Master Tromberry. You can also win one if you win the in the gold saucer, the um, battle square, the special battle ten times in a row. Not in a row, but like ten times in total, then you get a weapon. But that's very slow, you should probably just morph Master John Barry. Have you done any uh, wonder square stuff? No, I haven't done any of that yet. Or not, not wonder square, but gold saucer, like, you know, battle yeah. square. And... Anyway, um, back to my meaningful uh, snap. So, um, as I was saying, there's this cheesecake with raspberries, that's like in the bottom two, in the bottom parts. Um, above that, there's this, um, French pastry thing called, uh, Eclair. Have you heard of that? Yeah, you have Oh, well, never mind. <laughs> Do um, have chocolate in the middle? No, they have, actually, they, they sell them with chocolate and vanilla filling, but I don't like chocolate filling. 
So um, the ones I have have no filling. And there's also some kind of fruit cake. It's not really a, a cake. It's more like a tart. That's a fan. Uh, that's a fancy French term for like little cake. And um, yeah, we we have tarts. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. They're good. Yeah, that's. I agree. Which have you tried them all, or are you have you not tried some of them yet? Well, I mean, the the place I go to to uh, to get French pastries it has like really lots of stuff, and I haven't tried all of the stuff they have. But I mean, I usually can tell what I would like and what I don't like, so I really only try what I think would would be good for me. I mean, I I don't really enjoy like. Um, chocolate kind of cakes and also I don't really like orange or um, citrus lemon kind of flavored like, things like nuts like or like coconuts stuff like that actually I like that I like coconuts and nuts but um, that's not very common for cake anyway I don't know people don't really have they don't really have a lot of coconut flavored things I don't know do they have that in the US very much they have some coconut. I'm not really a fan of coconut or nuts in general. Oh, I see. I mean, I, I, I like nuts by themselves, but not on anything. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, anyway, I think I'm gonna try and beat this boss in the interior cave now. That might now be you, possible. Your, your, your materia is sufficient. Yeah, I just feel so. I mean, I don't really want to continue any more grinding. It's kind of it's kind of boring at this point. And I mean, you can do a lot of a lot of um, things with just the right strategy. So I mean, you have to grind a little bit, but you shouldn't have to, you know, grind for hours. Now, the first important part is to equip the white right, um, to equip the white right, uh, equipment, I guess. Um, So essentially the boss I'm gonna, t I'm gonna fight is um, not immune to, to gravity, so I can use gravity on it. Have you ever eaten like a coconut? Have you ever like drank coconut milk? Did you like it? It was okay. I have tried coconut milk and I hated it. It tastes very rotten. Maybe it actually was rotten, I'm not sure, but I didn't like it. Don't drink rotten milk. <laughs> Bad idea. I mean, they didn't tell me it was. It would be. Uh, it would be spoiled. But I mean, I'm. I'm really sure it wasn't actually. But it tasted very, very rancid. I like. I, I wouldn't. I think I was okay with a little bit of it, but I think if I was to drink a whole cup, I'd probably be sick of it. So I want to increase my magic um, defense by a bit. I think I want to buy a talisman. Um, what about Alan Make? You know, um, last week for the first time I actually tried Alan Make, and I like almond milk. I didn't really know I would like almond milk, but. It's not bad, but I generally don't really drink milky stuff. But it wasn't bad. Can you buy talisman somewhere? I kind of need to buy some, I guess. I'm pretty sure you can buy them somewhere, I'm just not sure where. Um, maybe Medeal. I mean, I don't think it changed from the original game where you can buy um, stuff, so... What about Pancake? 
cat milk? Uh, you ask me if I like cat milk. Do you like cat milk? Does anybody drink cat milk besides cats? Starting this year, I've become lactose intolerant. Uh, yeah, you mentioned that. Things. Like, um, has your outlook on life changed because of that? Well, last night I ordered a, a crab cake sandwich from a restaurant I was at, and then I <laughs> ate it. And then I went home, and then on the drive home, I started feeling really sick, and then I realized that it had cheese in it. And then oh, I, I had a bad night after that. Well, I mean, you probably just have to stop having anything with milk then. <laughs> That's... I mean, I don't think I have... I mean, actually, um, I have an allergy to uh, some foods, but... It doesn't actually affect my life in any in any way, so I'm I'm kind of glad I don't have to you know not eat any kind of foods. But actually, I'm allergic to uh, I'm not sure if I mentioned that before, but apparently I'm allergic to to um, Peter Haya, aka dragon fruits. I never like to connection. Well, it's it's an exotic food that's mostly common in. Uh, it's native, I think, to some countries in Southeast Asia, and it's like a purple fruit that looks like a kiwi, but it has um, a purple shell, and the inside is like white with little black seeds, and it's basically very exotic here, and I tried it like on two occasions, and on both occasions after I ate it, I got really sick, I had a lot of stomach ache, so I assume I shouldn't eat it anymore. Also, it's, it's a very underwhelming taste that it has anyway. Um, I didn't like it at all. It tastes really very dull and very bland. It's not like it even tastes good, so... I didn't really miss out on anything by not having it. Oh, I should go to Rockatone. That's nice of you to tell me. Well, I mean, I'm pretty sure that everybody becomes lactose intolerant if they, if they are lactose intolerant. I mean, I'm, like, most people are not lactose intolerant as a child because, you know, they have to kind of not be that so they can be breastfed. Well, I can just edit my genes in a year or two. So I will be able to eat dragon fruit then. See who's laughing then. Will you will you get cybernetics like Adam <laughs> Jensen? Well sounds fun, doesn't it? Which which body part would you most want to replace with a, a robotic body part? Um That's a good question. body part would you like to enhance with some cybernetics, <laughs> not necessarily replace, just to improve. I mean, it probably doesn't hurt to... I mean, I feel that the human body is just basically a pile of garbage to begin with. So you probably have to, you know, have a grand renovation. It's all just trash. Even if you, um, you know, just by design, the human body is basically garbage, no offense. I mean, it's just basically. No offense to the human watching this. Right <laughs> yeah, no, no offense to the human who are watching this, but your body's like garbage. Everybody's body is garbage. I mean, you know, it might look good or it might work, but it still is gonna fail, and there's so many issues with it. I don't like it. I would prefer to not have a human body. So you wanna go full robot? Well, I mean, there's, there's obviously some benefits to that. You wouldn't have to, you know, have to endure pain and those things. You would be able to. And that's how you know that something's wrong. Like, if you don't have pain, it's I understand that notion, but some pain is purely. Uh, has no use. Like, not every pain you feel is supposed to actually have any kind of function. Like, what about toothache? I mean, sure, it tells you your tooth are bad, but. like, you know. Do you think toothache is really helpful? Maybe, maybe your robotic body will just have like a pain limiter 
so you know you that would be good know something yeah is wrong, but like not enough to actually be but i mean also terrible. teeth like you know they're not really meant to last for like five million years so i mean i guess it's you know you'd probably start with something rather uh, mundane like your teeth i mean <laughs> it's it's basically what you think anyway like people in hollywood they they all have someone else's teeth like <laughs> Not someone else's teeth, but they have, like, not their actual teeth, do they? From the way I see this. I mean, I actually lost a tooth, like, when I was younger, so... I, uh, like, it was only, like, a molar, well, not a molar, but, um... What do you call them? A wisdom tooth? So, yeah. Or the ones that come in later. Yeah, I mean, not everyone even needs them. Or, no, 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 sorry, they're not the ones that come in later. The ones people that, that people need them. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, some people, I mean, basically everyone grows them, but not everyone has to, like, get rid of them. I mean, it's kind of common to, to, uh, to have your wisdom teeth removed because your mouth isn't really designed to, you know, they can't really. Not everybody's mouth has enough room for them, so. Isn't it already a sign of how garbage your body is? <laughs> I mean, that and also your uh, your appendix, which also is basically only supposed to cause trouble. And there are your tonsils, you know. There's a lot of things in your body that are just basically going to break down and then you have a lot of issues when they do. Wouldn't you agree? So... So the, the main thing, if you had to choose one thing to be enhanced or replaced by cybernetics, it would be your teeth. <laughs> I don't think my teeth would really profit from I mean, it seems like that would be a no-brainer, but, like, why would I want to improve my teeth if I don't really have, you know, my teeth don't really do much besides chew. It doesn't seem like... Well, then what? Then, then what would you change your answer to? Maybe something more useful. I mean, obviously the, the thing that's most useful about your, ba your body is your brain. You don't really need anything else. I mean, you literally are your brain. The rest is just decoration. You get like a a, a logical processing enhancement, or like <laughs> a, a social augmentation, something or along those lines, maybe. Memory, memory. Uh, I don't know. Memory. Whatever is on the market in in that in the future, I can't really say what it would be like, but... It would probably all be several million dollars. <laughs> well, um... That depends, I don't really think so. You should start streaming more often so you can get the <laughs> stream box and you can save them up. Well, that's, the that's, that's true, yeah. Brain enhancement. But I don't really think that that kind of stuff is necessarily gonna cost that much. I mean... Maybe initially, but it will probably become mainstream. Anyway, I want to prepare for this um, boss fight, and I want to basically increase my ma my magic defense as much as possible because the enemy only uses magic attacks, so that would be good to do that. Yeah, I mean, uh, some people have like a, a tooth gap, um, and it's like they, it's kind of like their um, their thing, or more like, um, you know, their characteristic. You know, there's this French um, actress called um, Vanessa Paradis, who used to be Johnny Depp's wife, and she has like a really strong tooth gap. Also, I think Madonna, and some models, they just have. I don't know. They have like a really striking tooth gap between, like it's always in the middle between, uh, you know, in the middle of their, their teeth, like upper, upper row, and 
it's you can like quite remember them by those. But anyway, um, what am I even doing here? I will have to equip some gravity and stuff. I'm not saying it's not it's unattractive, but I'm just saying it's I don't know. Some people have it. And apparently some people really like it. I'm not sure though how I view it. I never really thought about it. I don't really care about <laughs> your uh, your dentros, to be honest. I don't know. That never really seemed to to really interest me. Hey Google me, how are you? I guess that's true. So I'm wondering how I should actually deal damage. I can use... Hmm. I mean, I guess I will just try and see how it works. It's probably gonna be a disaster. I mean, you can actually see the boss, I guess. Maybe I should just go ahead and s just show it. Yeah, I haven't really thought this through very much yet. So yeah, you get magic counter, command counter, and quantum magic here, and you fight this interesting enemy. I think it'd be too easy if they let you equip the magic you just got before the fight. Yeah, that would that would be really useful. So the first thing I want to do is greatly increase my defense. Dragon Force um, increases the defense by 1.5. If you do it twice, you double your defense and defense. Still the same enemy that used to have it, the Beach Plug. So now everybody has a double down defense that is very neat. Now I could actually start attacking, I guess. However, I also wanted to do something else, something else first.
has oh nobody has that. Kind of sucks. Yeah, this attack actually removes all kinds of artifacts. It removes wall and reflect and haste and whatever. Oh yeah, it also can use Shadow Flare. Now she stands. So the issue is that um, this attack removes all your buffs, so you have to constantly bring it up again, that's very annoying. Also the enemy can 1-up MP, so there's various ways to uh, think about various strategies you could try. I mean you could just remove its MP, but then it can use an attack called Hyper Aether and it can restore its MP. But it can only do this 15 times, apparently, so uh, if you have <laughs> enough time you can just re re remove its MP and just wait for it to never refill its MP. But that would probably not be very fast at all. This is also interesting because it has it it uh, makes him immune to earth and winds. If I make him immune, uh, in addition to that, to uh, um, fire and and ice, then he is immune to all the uh, attacks I can use, minus the uh, light shell. That could be actually a uh, one idea. I could just make sure that how it absorbs or is immune to all of that. I mean, the the adamant time I use is um, contain material spells, so freeze, break, flare, and tornado. Hey, uh, last place, ETA on space. Uh, probably not today anymore, I'm sorry for your loss.
face. Liking it. Um, you can hit him with physical attacks. He just has a extremely high physical offense. So essentially you deal no damage and you will be very sad for wasting your turns. I already tried that off stream. Um you can I mean you can of course damage him with physical attacks, but they deal like two HP of damage. <laughs> it's really not worth it. So I'm thinking about what um what he can still do. I mean he can still use Shadow Fan Clouds. That of course would be an issue. Are you saying this spell in this in this mod can remove Dragon Force? Because this spell um, normally can't remove Dragon Force. So I guess Cloud can somehow survive this, but what about the others? No, my, my chair is still as quick as last time, I think, unless it had gotten more quicky. In the meantime, I haven't killed them yet, no. Indeed. No, I don't have magic counter, unfortunately. You actually get it for beating this boss.
Is he actually weak to something? So also he has um, 200,000 HP. Oh, it's weak to bolts. That is interesting. I mean, I have twine, so I guess that could maybe be of some use. I guess I'll see how this works now. Also in the material case.